So in the last episode, we were able to create this endpoint for handling the GET requests. And in this episode, I want us to create another endpoint to handle the read requests. So I'll scroll at the bottom here, and this is where I'll create an endpoint to handle the delete requests. So we will say router dot delete, and as usual, the first parameter here is the path, and then the second parameter will be a callback function, which will be an async function, and then we have access to request and response. And we set it to be an arrow function just like this and now we can uh, do something in here so I want to show you three ways in which you can delete documents from MongoDB and the first way is by using delete one method and the delete one method uh, will delete one document from uh, the database and then we have another method called delete many. And the other method that we will use is a find by ID and delete. So we have three methods which we will try out. The first one uh, is delete one, which will remove one document from the database. The read many will obviously remove many documents from the database and this one will remove a document uh, depending on its ID and this one is supposed to be in camera casing okay okay now let's try the first method right here so we will use our to do model to do and this method is now available in this model to do dot delete one and we invoke this method now whatever we pass in here is a filter we can filter the document that we want to delete in form of an object the same way we performed a filter when we were trying to get our to do's from the database so we can pass properties uh, for the document that we want to delete we can pass an id that is one of the best way to delete a specific document but you can also pass other properties like is complete and you specify the value so if i set here is complete to be true we will delete a document that have is complete to true but with this we may have more than one document called to do's that have a property is complete set to true so the first document that will be found by mongodb is the one that will be deleted this process will return a promise so we can await it and we can store uh, the result in a constant just like this so const uh, to do and when using the read one this to do just have some information of the number of documents that were deleted and the time that it took to delete the document and some other details okay we can send this to the client just like this res dot send to do okay now let's go to postman add a new document set it to true and then test this delete endpoint okay so i'll come to postman and i'll perform a post request and actually i'll just reuse one of these from the history here so i'll click this and then when we come to the body of requests we'll see that we already have some data because it's something that we have done before we can set this one to true and we can also change the other so that we differentiate and we set it to ciao so let's perform a post request and we get the to do that was added to the database let's perform a get request we confirm that we have three documents in our database okay so i have also reused uh, one of these i send and uh, 
when I scroll here, you'll see that we have three documents in the database. This is set to false, this is false, this is true. And the other is Chao, this is Charles, this is Charles. Now let's perform a direct request and see if this document will be deleted from our database. So right here, I'll just set this to delete and the path is the same, okay? Now I will send this and look what we get back. We get the number of documents that were deleted. It is one document and some other information. Now let's perform a get request again and see if we have two documents in the database. I will send and perfect. Now the to do that head is complete as true is gone. So this is one of the way that you can perform a deletion of documents in the database and you can pass uh, any kind of filter that you want here, okay? Let's try delete many. We will just change this to many, okay? And then we can set this to false. And this should delete all the documents that have is complete as false. So this should clear our database because our database have two documents uh, which are set to false. Now let's perform a delete request at this endpoint. I will submit and look what we get back. Two documents were deleted and some other information. Now let's perform a get request and confirm that we are getting an empty array. I will send and perfect. There are no documents in the database. So by using delete many is another way you can delete documents from the database. Now let's use find by ID and delete. So I'll just repress this method right here. Find by ID and delete. Just like that. And now all we need to do is to pass an ID in here. So how we usually do this is by passing an ID to our path so we can change our path here and we include a parameter did just like this way we will include a parameter called id okay and to read this parameter so that we can use it here we will use request dot params so this is an object that will allow us to read this uh, parameters that we use here and the parameter that we added is id so i'll just pass dot id here uh, the next thing is that uh, what we get right here is the deleted to do okay so right here i can just say deleted to do to be more specific deleted to do so we can test this one out i'll come back to postman and we don't have any document at the moment so i will use one of these and um let's set this one to our uh, test to do i send and perform a get request to confirm that we have this document in the database and there we go so our test to do is there now let's try to delete this to do using uh, our that method of so we will need the id of this to do i copy this we perform a delete request and i need to include this id at the end here so stroke id let's send this request and we are still getting back the to do that we deleted now let's perform a get request confirm that we have an empty array in our database i will send and we get an error and this is because our get uh, request is trying to reach this endpoint which have an id so we need to remove this and perform a get request and we get an empty array meaning that that to do was actually deleted so back to my code here you have seen that we can use all these methods 
to uh, delete a document from to do and the method that we will be going with is find by id and delete so i remove these ones and remain with this piece of code now we need to wrap this in a try and catch block so that we catch the errors so right here i'll say try and we pass this code in here and then we catch the error we have access to our error object and we can send the error to the client so right here i'll say res uh, dot status we use the status code 500 meaning that this is a server error and then we send the error to the client uh, just like this error dot message and then we can also log the error to the console so right here i'll say console dot log error dot message And when I save this, I am using Prettier and it should uh, format my code. So that's it for this video. But in future, when we add authentication, uh, we'll come and make some more changes in this endpoint. But for now, this is good enough. And in the next video, we will create another endpoint to edit our to-dos.